My name is Jenny Hart and I'm the owner and founder of Sublime Stitching, which is a company that I started in 2001 to introduce updated designs and patterns and instructions for hand embroidery. I want to say I was always interested in embroidery, but I wasn't. I was never interested in embroidery, and I think that was because I really felt like the aesthetic had become outdated. You know, I, I liked embroidery, but I didn't really want to spend my time stitching bunnies or geese and bonnets, and I felt like that kind of had its day, and I couldn't believe that you couldn't get patterns for embroidery that were more contemporary themes, like tattoo patterns or pinups and things that I, I liked. So um, I started Sublime Stitching in 2001 to re-inspire and reinvigorate people with an interest in hand embroidery by offering uh, designs that you couldn't get um, that had just those themes, things that were unusual. The Austin Craft Mafia um, really started as just seeking out support and looking for other like-minded businesswomen, um, which was how I met Tina Sparkles, who ran Sparkle Craft. And I had seen her website, and I was trying to find other websites that kind of would make me feel like, yeah, it's possible to start a small business and start my own website. And I discovered hers, and then I discovered she lived in Austin. And so I wrote her, and I said, you know, I'd love to have coffee with you. And she said, I'd like to have coffee with you too. Uh, how about I bring my friend Jennifer, being Jennifer Perkins of Naughty Secretary Club. And the three of us just, it was kind of lightning in a bottle and we started, I told them about my idea to start Sublime Stitching and they said, we think it's a great idea and they had feedback for me. And that was just so inspiring to be around that we started making it a regular thing that we would get together to write off drinks, talk shop, um, and that became kind of the cornerstone of all the activity was cross promotion in the press, uh, sharing promotional materials in our outgoing orders, uh, pooling our resources for print ads that we couldn't afford on our own, and really networking. And what happened was is people got so excited by the Craft Mafia name, they wanted to start Craft Mafias in their own town. And so we wanted it to be a network, so we started just craftmafia.com so that it was a network that could always refer back. So if you learned about a craft mafia, say in England, um, you would go to the website and you would see all the other craft mafias referenced and you could learn about them also. Well, after I started Sublime Stitching, I started getting overwhelmed with questions, not just about embroidery, but questions about how did you start your business? How do I start my own business? And the question I always dread is, um, what is your advice for someone who wants to start a new business? Um, because it's, it's, um, it's a very broad question, and what I usually say is um, just do it. You know, just, just start it, um, try it. Um, you know, the resources to start, the wonderful thing is the resources are out there and the resources are free to start. Um, you can start small and you can stay small if you want to. You can make your business um, as small or as big as you want to. I think it's important that you, I think I, my, my most important piece of advice is for people to think very carefully about taking something that they love to do and thinking that it would be a good business. Because um, a business is so demanding that it can take something that you love and make it something that you don't love anymore. So you don't want to do that. And so it's something that, you know, maybe you love making earrings, but do you love making 20 earrings a day? And you know, what's realistic and what would you enjoy doing? And just have a plan. You don't have to have a perfect plan, but have something of a plan and just get started and see where it takes you.